Okay, this how-to video is going to show you how to uh, calculate impedance with inside the Cadence PCB tools. So there's a few different methods, so I'll cover all the different options for you, um, and you can then decide which method you want to use. So by starting with the impedance, um, we can actually look at the cross-section editor. So if we go to Setup and Cross-section, or we use the, the icon, what this does is launch the cross-section editor. So in this example, I've got a, a multiple stack up PCB. So you'd select effectively the main part of the PCB where you want to calculate the impedance. So the primary part for me will be the main part. I've got a six layer board here. And if we pan across to the to the right hand side of the cross section editor, there's this six signal integrity section. So we'll just double click to expand the headings out and that expands all the fields. So here we've got calculations like the conductivity, the dielectric constant, which is what um, the Cadence PCB tools use to calculate the impedance of the cross section. So by adjusting these values across it, adjusting the dielectric thicknesses, etc., will have an effect on the impedance. It uses a BEM2D field solver to calculate this. So you can see I get an impedance and a width. So if I wanted to say calculate the, the inner one in value for 50 ohms, I come in and specify 50 ohms here, and that would then change this value to 0.266. So that would be the value I would need to enter to create my rule. If I wanted to do the outer layers, obviously 50 ohms here. It's 0.308. So these are the values from a calculator point of view. Once I'm happy with that, I can then click OK. I can then launch Constraint Manager. So Setup and Constraints. And we'll go to uh, the Physical Rules. Uh, let's go create a new rule. So right mouse button, create a physical C set. And we'll call this 50 ohm. And then I can specify the value. So um, on the different layers so I can actually expand this out so on the top of the board it was 0 0.308 on the inner layers it was 0.266 and then the bottom will do 308 so that's effectively uh, created my My, my rule and then when I start to root I would then use that rule apply that rule to, to nets and then root from that point of view so that's method one um, the next method is also from constraint manager so I can go to set up um, constraints uh, we'll go to electrical if we go to the electrical workbook we actually have an impedance uh, worksheet so here you can specify a value so we could create a rule come here to the impedance rule right mouse button create a new C, C, electrical C set we could call this impedance or 50 ohm or whatever or we can apply it directly to the net so in this example I'm going to just apply it to the net impedance so we'll pick a one let's just go and pick a value of uh, 50 ohms with a tolerance um, you need to make sure that this rule is enabled so if you go to analyze analysis modes um, electrical just make sure that the impedance rule is actually turned on once it's done um, it's then using the BEM2D filter over as well. So if we actually go and let's go and start to route this net. Uh, so if I just go to the root connect command, you can see the default option is 0.2 at the moment. If I select this, um, it then changes its value to 0.308. If I then go and pick um, in a layer one, it would then update this value to 0.266. So it's using the same cross section calculator, but it's actually doing it automatically for you. The final option um, would be from Constraint Manager again. So let's go to Constraint Manager. If we go to uh, the physical rule, all layers, you can see these different values here. So what I can do is I can just do a right mouse button and do a change. This gives me all the different values for the fields that I've got. And then there's a calculate button here that would then launch a calculator so I can then go and uh, specify a differential impedance, single impedance, the alignment and the primary gap based on the different layers that I want to do and cal the calculate for.